What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the sun again, but um, today we have a honey review. <clears throat> now, I found this, I don't even remember where I bought this to be honest with you. Um, it was only like, I think four bucks. Usually it was, it was eight I think when Walmart had it. But, um, or somewhere I thought it was eight. Maybe Giant Eagle, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, you know what I'm talking about, grocery store. But I, I paid four bucks for this somewhere. I just don't remember where. But um, <clears throat> it is from Heinz. It's distributed by Kraft Heinz out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And it is Heinz 57 Collection Infused Honey with Hot Chilies. I like the label alone is just cool with the gold on there. I know it's kind of glittering because of the sun, but there it is. Hot chili infused honey. Now, most of this is just honey and peppers that you find. Well, this has a few more ingredients to that. This is honey. Well, let's read the side. It says a factory 57 creation, making magic in your kitchen. Honey infused with hot chili peppers. Delicious drizzled on pizza or with savory dishes such as bacon, fried chicken, and roasted vegetables. Also a great addition to glazes and marinades. Simply drizzle, dip, or brush to elevate culinary dishes. Now, the ingredients are honey, distilled white vinegar, cayenne pepper puree, which is cayenne pepper, salt, and vinegar, and chili pepper extract. So hopefully this has a little bit of heat to it because most of the hot honeys I've had haven't other than late for works and funky food with Dave's. Those honeys were hot. Um, but if I could get this open, we're going to try this one here. But I do give them props for, because most hot honeys are kind of smooth in it. This actually has some stuff in it. So, okay. Okay, I smell the honey. I think I get a little bit of that chili pepper extract. Like, not burning hot, but, you know, just that chili pepper smell. But we're going to give this baby a try. We're going to give it a good shaky shake. It is a little on the loose side for honey, but the heck, why not? So here's the squeeze. That come out pretty quick. Smells good. There's what it looks like. And uh, here we go from Heinz, their 57 collection. Hot chili infused honey. Cheers. This is, I know this is gonna sound weird, but uh, let me taste it one more time and I'm gonna say what I wanna say. It's gonna sound weird, but Yeah, um, I get the honey. I get a little hint of the of the chili, but <laughs> oh, let me try this again here because this is gonna sound weird. Get a nice honey aftertaste, but it's just at first. Okay, it tastes like I bought this strawberry flavored pork jerky at the Asian market one time, and it, it, this is what this tastes like. I don't know if there might have been honey on that, maybe that's why. But it, 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 I don't know. Like, it's weird. Like, I taste it, but, but I almost get like an Asian vibe from it, which is weird, but it's good. And you really do get that honey's good. That's good honey. Um, like I say, you get a little bit of like a, the, the, I guess it's a pepper extract, but I don't know why it's giving me a, why it's making me think of strawberry flavored pork jerky from the Asian market. 
I like it though. It's good. Now, obviously, we all know what the heat rating is going to be. That's a big goose egg. But the flavor, this would be good, I think, on cheesecake, pumpkin pie, ice cream, and tea, or even coffee. Maybe even on some cornbread. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's not hot, obviously. It's just a little bit of that hot chili flavor, which is probably coming from the extract, which means if it wasn't for the extract, probably we would taste that. But that honey is some good quality honey. So yeah, I'll give it a, I give it a six out of ten. Uh, would I buy it again? Probably not, because it's just obviously not hot. But I, it's good though. I will definitely use that. So there you go, hot chili infused honey from the Heinz 57 collection. Sorry for the way the sun is right now. But there it is. It's not bad, but I, I wouldn't buy it again. It's just not hot. Somebody needs to make something hot. And I know it's mass produced and they try to market it to everybody, but you need to make something for the chili community because we want something hot. But anyway, like I say, eventually I think I'm just going to end up making my own stuff and seeing what I can do with that because nobody else can make it hot. Maybe I have to. But anyway, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do whatever you want with this video. I really don't care. See you next time.